Kids Church Online. If this is your first time watching with us, I want to say thank you for being here today and welcome to TCC Kids Church Online. We love new friends at TCC Kids. And we have a friend that just celebrated a birthday. Logan turned six years old this week. Happy birthday, Logan. I really hope you had a great day. And if you celebrated a birthday too this past week, then I want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday! We have three really simple rules here at TCC Kids Church Online. Rule number one is no talking when someone is up front. Or in this case, no talking when someone is on the screen. I know it's easy to get distracted sometimes, so try to get rid of anything that could take your attention away from this lesson and away from hearing God's word today. Rule number two, keep your hands to yourself. If you're watching with a brother or a sister, this one is really important to remember. No kicking, hitting, fighting, biting, choking, or poking. And rule number three is the best rule in the whole world. Do you guys know what it is? Right, have fun. <laughs> we are going to have fun, and right now, we are going to play a game.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that game as much as I did. Now, we have something really special for you. So pay attention to Miss Janet. And now, we have a really cool experiment for you. Listen up to Miss Janet. Hi TCC kids, it's Miss Janet, and this morning we are going to be doing a science experiment together to help us learn our lesson. Today we're talking about praising God, and one of the things that we praise God for is His ability to do things that are impossible. God can work miracles. The science experiment that we're going to be doing today requires a balloon, some paper, a glass jar, and some fire. Now, a word of warning, never ever play with fire by yourself. Never ever play with fire in general. If you're doing a science experiment that needs a flame, you must ask an adult to help you. All right, now we're gonna get into the experiment. What we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and get this balloon, which is too big to fit in this jar, we're gonna try and get it in the jar but we need to do it without breaking the jar open or ruining the jar. It's a glass jar. So to me, that seems a little bit impossible. I don't know how to do it, but we're gonna try this science experiment that might show us what it looks like when God does something impossible for us. Wow, it worked. It's in there and it looks kind of gross and pretty messy in there, but I have no idea how this balloon could come out because it doesn't fit through the opening. And that to me is a really cool science experiment because it accomplished something that I didn't think was possible. And when we praise God, we thank God for everything that he does for us for all the characteristics of who he is, and one of those is God can do things that are impossible. And I want you to think about that next time you're praying, next time you're praising God, when we sing our songs in kids' church, you are singing to a God who can do miracles. Well, that's it for today. Bye. Well, that was really awesome. You know what, you guys? We can do tricks like that and experiments that make it look like we can do the impossible, but really, the only one that can do the impossible is God. And God did do the impossible. He sent Jesus down to earth to die on a cross for our sins. And three days later, he rose him from the dead. You guys, that is amazing. And that is the best news ever because Jesus died for our sins. Well, today our lesson is found in the book of Mark. Do you know if Mark is found in the Old Testament or the New Testament? If you said New Testament, you are right. Mark is one of the Gospels in the New Testament. And our lesson is in Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 10. I'm going to give you a few minutes to look that up and read it over with your family. Okay, have you guys ever been to a parade before? Parades are really fun and they're really exciting. Maybe you've even been in one. I love the energy at a parade. They're really loud. People are laughing and yelling and cheering. Well, that's kind of how I imagine this scene where Jesus rides into the town of Jerusalem on a donkey. And as he rides through, people are so excited to see him because they know that he is the king. And they throw down their coats on the ground for the donkey to walk across. And they cut down palm branches and throw those on the ground too. And they're shouting. Do you remember what they were shouting? Yes, they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. And they shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and blessed is the king of Israel. This is something that I find very interesting. 
The people were so happy and so excited that Jesus was riding through town. Remember, they said, blessed is the king of Israel. They knew that he was their king. But they didn't know what he was just about to do. Jesus was coming into town for Passover. Do you guys remember what Passover is? Right. It's a Jewish holiday that celebrates when the Israelites were set free from slavery. When they were set free from the evil king, the evil pharaoh. Well, here's the thing. Jesus was just about to set all of us free from something far more evil than Pharaoh and far more dangerous. He was about to set us free from sin. The people celebrated him and cheered and yelled for him, but they didn't know what he was about to do. Like we know what he was about to do. Remember we said that right after Passover is when Jesus went and died on the cross. That means that just a few days after his ride through town on the donkey, Jesus went and died on the cross. And then three days after that, Jesus rose from the dead. That means it was exactly one week later from that ride through town. So you guys, they celebrated Jesus. They celebrated that he was their king. They praised him as he went through town, but they didn't even know the half of it. They didn't know what we know now. When I think about that, I think, how much more should we praise Jesus? How much more should we be excited about Jesus, our King? Because we know how the story ends. You guys, Jesus deserves all of our praise. He deserves our attention and our joy and our excitement, the way that those people were excited that day. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and he deserves our praise. Well, thank you for being here today. I really enjoyed spending time with you and learning more about Jesus and how much he deserves our praise. I'll see you next week, and I'm so excited because it's Easter. See you then. Bye.